Mm. Well, <laughs> hello, it's your boy Tony Pony, and uh, I'm back once again with uh, another dream vlog. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, episode five already. Wow, it goes pretty fast. If you ask me, uh, later on, uh, gonna look at some comments, gonna try to keep that up. Uh, okay. So, yeah, the dream, uh, shit. <laughs> we gotta jolt my mind. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you see me alright? Yeah. yeah. So I was at work. Something like work, I don't know what it was. But, uh, didn't look like uh, the, our regular working station. Uh, but, uh, I was in there and I saw one of my bosses in, how oh, you call it, blue, azure blue, like marine blue, no, it's like super blue, <laughs> I don't know how you call it in English, but uh, blue like this, yeah, super blue, but uh, he just passed me and ignored me. Then another colleague, uh, a girl, she passed me also in blue, in the same blue, and uh, she also ignored me. I don't know what the fuck was up with that. Then uh, a little while later, uh, with an, yet another colleague, colleague, she's like this older woman, 60 years old or something. And uh, I was racing the stairs with her, but uh, she well, she was trying to win. And uh, the thing that she did was she grabbed my cock to try and distract me, but she uh, lose anyway. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Uh, yeah. It's also weird I think it was very uh, vivid and uh, in reality I don't like this woman I know exactly how she works how she is she don't care about anything only her own pockets I guess the other two colleagues I don't really care about but uh, this woman that tries to tried to grab my cock and win. She's straight up uh, selfish bitch. Yeah. Racist also, very racist. Blah, okay. So that's, that was a thing. Later that night in the same dream, I dreamt of Mentally ill patients and uh, handicapped patients or persons, and they were all walking in line in front of me, like uh, besides me, and uh, they were half naked. They had uh, like boxer shorts on, but uh, the women had no bras. Uh, well, th this was men and female. They were looking very dirty and they're walking like, you know, not right. They're not walking right. So, uh, uh, yeah. 
That was the thing, and one of them was uh, talking to me, but it was like zombie talk, so I blah, 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 blah. couldn't understand him, but it was very vivid, and he had uh, only boxer shorts on, and he was tattooed on his body, like around his nipple and down his stomach. I don't know what it was, but it was very colorful, and uh, yeah, like spiked hair, blonde, painted blonde, and like dark rings around his eyes. He looked like uh, uh, somebody from a rock band. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe him. But he, he was talking zombie to me and uh, all these other people, he, uh, the really uh, was like reality, it was, uh, uh, yeah it was weird, but it was like I could feel, I could feel what they felt, uh, it was not very uh, positive, so I don't know, it was kind of strange. Oh well, yeah, that was the thing. Now later that night in the same dream, uh, this was the most profound thing. I was standing outside our house here and uh, in the distance, or well, not so far away, there was this giant vehicle. It was like... Uh, train locomotive you know like the front pull I don't know how you call it <laughs> like the front uh, train thing that pulls the all, all the other cards one of those and uh, directly on top another one so that's two uh, of those train things on top of each other and on top of that was like uh, a yellow crane and, uh, so that's a train thing, another train thing and then a yellow crane on top of it and there was again a Russian person driving it I don't know how I know he was Russian but uh, I got that impression so he was driving the crane and the two uh, train wagons at once but he was controlling it from out uh, the crane and he was driving like <laughs> really uh, violently and uh, yeah this was very uh, odd um, yeah and it was like reality again and uh, yeah that's about it that I can remember from this dream. It's really strange. Well, they're all really strange, but uh, yeah, the zombies that I told you was again off. So yeah, tell me what you think. Comment. Uh, if you got any explanation, uh, yeah, I really have no idea what to, to make of it. Well, uh, one guy, uh, my friend, he uh, commented on Facebook to another video, and he told me. Uh, that uh, maybe I was Russian in another life. Yeah. So that might explain uh, the Russian team about my dreams, uh, some of my dreams. Yeah. I don't know what was up with uh, the blue things that uh, my color colleagues wore. I don't know. So yeah, let's 
Let's get to these comments from the last video. Krizali. He commented. I actually think the quality of this video is better than the others. Flying dreams are the best, don't you think? It sounds like you are a very vivid dreamer and the fact that you can remember them is amazing too. Do you write them down when you wake up? I remember your old fits back when you were a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy then too. Just kidding. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna keep this quality. Uh, with the other phone, it drives me nuts. I've looked for hours to fix the, the zoom thing and you can do it. But uh, you gotta touch the screen and, and I'm not gonna fucking do it. I'm just gonna use this uh, phone. And, uh, well, if you don't like it, well, sorry, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this. Uh, flying dreams are the best. Well, yeah, I, uh, I don't have much flying dreams. I had, uh, the only one, other one that I can remember is, uh, a lucid dream. I dreamt it years ago and uh, I was in control in that dream and uh, I remember that very well. I was flying like crazy dude and uh, I was jumping on top of things and uh, jumping off and uh, there was this like huge boss like creature you would uh, encounter in uh, Dead Souls or something and I was just toying with it <laughs> I was like I was super fast yeah and then uh, the the uh, other dream I told you guys the, uh, the last episode so yeah do you write them down when you wake up well sometimes when I wake up at the weekends or uh, when I'm uh, working on a late shift, then I will write them down immediately. But uh, not always, no, not always. But uh, because uh, these dreams, usually I can remember them throughout the whole day. But I have to write them down the same day because uh, they will go out of my mind, and then. Uh, yeah, it will be gone forever so uh, the thing that I also do sometimes well I had like uh, night uh, not really nightmares but I uh, like nightmare ish when I wake up in uh, from uh, excitement or I don't know I just wake up then I would like make small notations like uh, really just to, to jolt my mind later on and then I go back to sleep and uh, well. so that's what I do uh, I remember your old videos back when you were a wanker <laughs> well I deleted all those no fab videos because I uh I did it, I, I did no fab for about 70 days and uh, I, I didn't believe in no fab no more. It was like, it was not good for me yet. Uh, I was leaking jizz, leaking piss and I didn't feel right and no oh man. This thing uh, also, you gotta have wet dreams if you wanna do no fab or else it's not not all right <laughs> if you like rotten jizz in your balls go ahead man go fucking ahead <laughs> but uh, not me there was no way fuck no no 
So yeah, that was that comments. Uh, maybe Mulder and Skull from X Files could explain your dreams. Maybe your vagina is an alien life force. <laughs> well, that was the first thing I thought, really. But uh, my uh, friend from Facebook, he uh, he said it was. Oh, I can't. Find uh, with the cartilage, it was like etheric or etheric. I don't know how you call it. But he had a dream like that, also with cartilage, but not with a pussy. So can't really remember what he told me, but uh, there was an explanation. Oh yeah, and that I was uh, uh, dreaming my feminine side. Yeah. Okay. Another one. Lol, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was all the comments. Cool. Sure. Yeah, that was episode five. Uh, at the weekends, I think I'm gonna make episode six. This wasn't really messed up, but uh, I wrote it down, so yeah. uh, I'll uh, do episode, episodes about everything I write down, so yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, all that good shit, and uh, yeah, have a good day, I guess. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>